Hi folks, welcome to my video. If you haven't come across me before, my name's Donna. I'm an artist. I live in Taranaki, New Zealand. In this video, I'm going to rejuvenate um, half of these uh, vessels or vases that you see. In today's video, the other half will be done in another video. Um, I am using the baking powder paint um, technique and a patch of filler and a seam mix which is a type of concrete but first I have um, sprayed them all black and some brown because I had it handy and so this first little jug I am doing um, the baking soda. This ends up having several, <laughs> several layers of the baking soda and the paint on it, mainly because I add a hideous red brown to it and it's just too red, so I have to correct that. And also apologies if I tend to go out of frame. Um, I forgot where the camera was above at some points. This was a burnt umber that I had in this um, in this mixed into the baking soda or the baking soda mixed into this so this is the sim mix the quick dry cement um, very easy to use goes off quite quickly so you do need to add water as you're going just to keep it workable I do this on the wine bottle and the glass, um, the small glass vase. These are two projects that I will actually finish off in another video because quite frankly I didn't like them. But they were a good experiment and um, I think it's the shape that I don't like more than anything, not so much the texture, it was more the shape. I am considering and adding handles to them and then just doing a quick finish on them. This is the patch filler. I hadn't actually used this brand before and I actually really liked it. It went on really smoothly and um, seemed to stay on. Um, there were patches that I had to patch up later on but that was due to me adding far too much of, of the lime wash and it just um, dis disintegrating it because it hadn't been um, left overnight or anything like that to set. Yeah, so here I'm just adding a little bit of texture with a rag, just so you can't see my finger marks. And yeah, so I think, I think maybe this was my favorite. Well, I like both vases that I ended up finishing, both for different reasons, but I really did love the the colour and the texture in this one. But 
back to this vase. So I'm giving it a quick sand just to take away a bit of the lumpy um, texture with my little faithful sanding stick. Um, yeah, I even like the texture. I like the colour of it when it's been sanded. It looks quite cool. But I, um, this is where I go ahead, I think, and add the other colour to it. Or do I... Yep, this is where I add the red. And I knew the minute I'd done it that it was wrong, but that's how it rolls. So it was um, interesting to get to cover it up again and um, see how that, that worked. I must admit, even though I don't like the colour, I do love the texture it's giving the vase. This is my second or third time I've tried the baking soda and paint method and this would have to be by far the best result I've ever got. Um, maybe because I'm going on to ceramic. I've tried it on plastic in the past and it wasn't the best. So now I'm toning it down with a little bit of burnt umber and baking soda. So that's that dry and sanded and now I'm adding a bit of tan to cover again that red that's coming through. Um, there will be heaps more layers after this. <laughs> just adding texture and, and colours. You don't need to do that. I was just enjoying the whole process and just playing really. So here I'm just sanding down one of the glass vessels. Um, the chem mix was sim mix or whatever it's called was coming off this quite, especially the wine bottle, quite easily. Um, that could be because I actually didn't sand it first. I just painted it. Anyway, we'll see. They ended up taking a bit, a few more layers and they seem better now, but we'll carry on with that and finish it off in a later stage.
This is actually potting mix I'm using. I keep meaning to get some actual dirt out of the garden, but keep forgetting. Um, the dirt, the potting mix has got bark and stuff in it, so it's not that helpful. But anyway, it does the trick, did the trick. So now I um, will do the same to the wine bottle. Don't know what I'd ever use the wine bottle for, but hey, <laughs> thought I'd give it a go. Actually mixed a little bit of dirt into the, um, the concrete that time. And you'll notice I don't do it again. <laughs> it didn't work that well, but uh, yeah, it's okay. No biggie. Right, back to the... Um, the filler vase. This I am just rubbing in um, tan, tan paint. I didn't sand this one or anything. I'm because um, I wanted the texture left in. now I'm going to come in with the burnt umber and um, rub that in and then I'm going to get a rag I think or maybe I use a sponge I can't actually remember and I want to I'm going to take some of it off I want the black left in the the burnt umber left in the cracks I've got a technique that I do with my body casts and um, I essentially rub that burnt umber um, and take it off so you've got um, that left in the cracks of a imprint and um, it, a clean um, colour on top. It looks really quite effective. I was hoping to do that, but it didn't quite work out the way I planned. Um, and yeah, after I do these layers, I um, I start on with the um, it's either the dirt or the uh, lime wash to add um, some more colour and texture to it to make it look really aged. It's almost as if it's got a quite a leathery texture compared to the likes of the cement and the baking soda paint. Yeah. It's nice, it's just different. Sorry for being out of screen. So here I'm just doing the patches. And I've actually got a fire um, going behind me and I'm sitting these on top of the grate and that's what's helping them dry so quickly. <laughs> right back to this little jug. So here um, the tan's dried and um, it looks like this that layer of dirt's gone quite nicely. 
so I'm adding um, it's a, a golden color um, and I'll have the color down below but it just looks like moss it's beautiful I loved it um, yeah so between that the dirt and the lime wash it's come up really well um, and color wise it's my favorite out of the ones that I, I did in this video the more umber going on to the bigger the bigger vessel I've had this lime wash for years. Don't know where I got it, at least 10 years. It sits in the cupboard until I go through another lime wash phase. I should really stop tattooing. I didn't need to do as much as I did, I don't think. But I was just caught up in the moment. Just repairing the top because I went it too much and it flaked off a little bit. Probably didn't know need to go down the neck so much, but I just wanted to blend it in. So on with the lime wash. Over that lovely green. So this is a um a fake moss which is or it's a fake grass more than anything it's not that great but it served a purpose vase again I've obviously given it another layer or in the process of giving it another layer of the dirt All right, that's the final layer pretty much on that smaller pot. Um, I do go in 
and give it a matte spray just to add a little bit of protection maybe hold all those layers on <laughs> it'll be fine now back to the bigger pot with the leather type finish just um, correcting the the um, repairs or finishing the repairs up the top and um, going in with another layer of the um, lime wash this one I actually just let it um, I can't remember if I do it on camera but I, at one stage I just let it drip down the sides yeah I also do give this uh, a final spray of the matte a varnish matte varnish I mean Here are the products that I use. There's that golden paint, it's called Green Gold, My Lime, and the two colours that I used. So here are the finished, finished products. You can see the green coming through, that's just been sprayed. That's why it's shiny, it won't be like that in the end. <coughs> But yeah, it looks really cool. Between the, the fake moss and that green paint, it actually really does look like moss and algae growing on it. See, <coughs> so this is one that I said looked like a leather finish. And these are the other two that I am going to finish at a later stage and put some form of handles on there. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Happy creating. So one more thing, I would really love if you would subscribe. And if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Thanks.